going on guys pairs and reviews here today I'm gonna be changing the oil and the transmission fluid in my wife's 2012 Honda Civic it has the 1.8 liter four-cylinder um, I'm gonna be walking you through how to do that um, I'm actually gonna make two separate videos uh, one's going to be for the oil change, and the other is going to be for the transmission fluid, but I have it all out, so uh, I'm going to open it with this. Uh, the things you will need for the oil change is a, I believe it's a 17 millimeter socket and a ratchet, uh, a Phillips head screwdriver, and make it a, a decent Phillips head screwdriver because you don't want to strip the little retaining screws for the uh, skid plate, heat shield, whatever. Um, your preference of oil and filter and either option of oil filter wrench. The transmission fluid is a drain and fill. Uh, one of these is for the oil and one of them is for the transmission. This is the automatic transmission. Uh, it does not have the CVT transmission like my car. Um, so it takes the ATF DW1 automatic transmission fluid. Um, it is a very simple procedure. Uh, if I remember right, and I've done it once before, uh, it just takes a 3 8 ratchet head to break that loose. So I'm going to get under there and, and get started. First thing you're going to want to do here, there are four Phillips head screws. They, they hold... Uh, this portion of the shield on here uh, and I've already broken them loose so there's one here one here one back here and one right here the reason I say use a good screwdriver um, you don't want to strip those because if you strip them you're gonna have a time getting them out because they they tend to seize up here with the uh, elements and the water and the weather and everything uh, that your car drives through, it's it's in a bad position, but I've never had a problem. I don't put them back real tight, and I use a good quality screwdriver to get that. Uh, so we just push this back right here, just like this, and remove it. About now, um, this is your drain plug right here. It is a 17 millimeter. I was hoping I remembered. Uh, and here's your oil filter. And I'll try and get a better shot of the oil filter once I get it draining. Uh, so go ahead and break your uh, oil pan drain plug loose. And I'm using a glove because I don't really have a sink to wash my hands in here. So I'll just take it off and dispose of it. And carry on with my video <clears throat> just like that of course put a pan under it so I don't know if that's in the picture but uh, let that drain out like I said there's a crush washer on here and it's kind of stuck on there but we will remove and replace this crush washer so I'm gonna let that drain for a minute pretty much finished up draining here. I have installed the new crush washer onto the drain plug. Come right under here. Reinstall this. If you don't have a new crush washer it's not that big a deal. I was at Honda getting uh, transmission fluid because you have to use uh, genuine transmission fluid and uh, figured I'd just pick up a crush washer while I was there. <coughs> 30 foot-pounds is what I torque all my aluminum drain plugs to for the aluminum drain pans. Uh, well, a picture you're getting here, but... Just like that, 30 foot-pounds. We're going to move on to the oil filter. You can see the oil filter right here. I'm going to go ahead and use my newly acquired uh, filter wrench 
it was a set of four, and I think it actually has two sizes in each one. Uh, picked these up at Harbor Freight. Figured I'd leave them at home and try and make life easier. So if you don't have these, you can just go back to the old school, you know, stuff like this. It's a little more difficult to get to, but um, not that big a deal. So we'll see how this works. Seemed all right. Get the thing off of here. Well, that might be the other part of it. Getting it off, so just give it a tap here. Hmm. Maybe that's why they were so cheap. There we go. Just wiggle it off. It kind of got stuck. But worked. Looked pretty good. Go ahead and drain this out. <clears throat> These cars, uh, if you go by the maintenance system inside the car, these oil changes could go up to 10,000 miles. Um, I don't like going them all the way to 10,000 miles, but uh, get a good quality filter. This one is uh, rated to last 10,000 miles, so get a good quality filter. Um, the extended life normally takes it to about 7, 10,000 miles, somewhere in there. Uh, so once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and drop this, clean up my mess. Come on now. Well, that sticker started peeling off, but oh well. <clears throat> Take a rag, clean up your mess. There's nothing worse that I hate. I hate more than going behind somebody and just seeing the mess they left. I mean, does this take a whole lot, really? Just wipe this down real good. Make sure it's not dripping all over your shields, because then you could potentially think you have an oil leak if it starts dripping back here, oil. Um, so just clean it up real good. It doesn't take long. Make sure that the uh, other gasket from the old filter is not stuck to the engine. Uh, let's see if I can get a better picture of this. Where are you at? There we go. It's up in there. Just like that. Just confirm it doesn't have the old filter uh, O-ring on it. Um, so we are going to put some oil on the new filter O-ring and uh, spin that right up on there. Cleaned up all the leftover oil and I have rubbed some oil on this uh, red o-ring here fresh new oil on the o-ring we're just going to spin that right up on there now do not reinstall the filter using this uh, you want to go by hand until it makes contact and then go three quarters of a turn I believe it is but I just cranked down on it pretty good by hand it's a little difficult to get to but <clears throat> there we go finish wiping down anything that you may have uh, dripped out made a mess of get the shield over here anything that dripped on the shield and uh, this portion is done. And we did drain, uh, torque our drain plug up here, so everything that's left is up top. And one of the last things that you're going to have to do is uh, reinstall this stupid little shield. And it can be a pain. Um, there are clips here. Uh, it has a groove that it slides in here. There's one right here. And then two back there. You have to make this line up all at once. So, 
make sure that you get it under here in between these two and go up in here back there all at once until it slips into place see how these come out now uh, it is locked into place hold it held with those little clips so now you can reinstall your screws that hold this uh, whole thing together Once you have these hand tight, you can go back with your screwdriver and just snug them up slightly. You don't want to strip these, remember. Snug it just like that. Just like that. Hopefully my big head isn't in the way. I didn't pay attention. And, uh, like that and that about sums up everything under here everything else you need to do to finish this is right up here uh, clean a filter or a funnel excuse me uh, I've had a lot of uh, oils and liquids run through this filter so just make sure that it is clean and clear uh, so you don't get any contaminants in your engine uh, take the cap off here, right here. I already opened this court to uh, lube the oil filter, so we just pour these in from here. And I want to say that this car holds four and a half quarts. Don't uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, our old Civics, my wife had a 97 and I had a uh, 96 Civic with the 1.6. It held just under four quarts. I believe the newer engines do hold uh, very close to five, but I don't think it is a total of five. So don't don't quote me on that. This engine has had uh, full synthetic Valvoline since its first oil change. This is the only car that we have bought brand new. I have done every service by the book when it calls for it. So we're going to see how good a car Honda makes. Because I do everything they recommend when they recommend it. I'm actually about to service the transmission early because my wife drives it, uh, she's, she's a little aggressive, but it's a Honda, should be able to take it. I think the car has 51,000 miles on it so far. We drove it off the lot with two. Nobody had even test drove this car when we bought it. Alright, I put three in there. Dump four in and start checking it here. Also, I have to do a tire rotation on this, but I don't know if I'll film that. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Without a lift, I gotta do it out here in the gravel. <clears throat> Alright. So that's over four quarts right there. This is your dipstick. 
Now this is still on ramps, but you want it to be on the dipstick before you start it and remove it off the ramps because you don't know how much oil is in it. That's about right there on the dipstick. Once, uh, once we start it and remove it from the ramps, uh, it will probably go a bit lower and we'll just top it off as needed. So let's go ahead and remove this off the ramps. Okay, to reset the maintenance reminder, and that's that little uh, annoying thing up there, um, A12 is oil change and tire rotation. So, using these keys down here, we're going to go menu, and then you use these to follow. Menu, once you X out of that, menu, vehicle information maintenance info oil life is at 15 percent so it needs engine oil tire rotation oh and air filters oh, how about that um, she has a K&N air filter that I installed the first time that I replaced the air filter uh, guarantee it's still good the cabin air filter I have replaced um, not long ago so I actually I beat the maintenance reminder on that, so I'm not, I'm not going to be doing that, but uh, just hit the middle button to reset. It will ask you if you would like to reset. Go down to yes. Maintenance information has been reset, and that's it. All right, we have removed the car from the ramps, ran it for about 60 seconds or so. Um, don't want to run it too long in case the oil is low. So, get it cycled through, we wipe the stick off, pull it back out, and we check the level. And this looks about right where my fingernail is. This might be too clear to see, but, uh, you know, it, as long as it's within this range, you're, you're normally good. I like to put it uh, closer to the top. So, about roughly four and a half quarts uh, will do. It doesn't take the full five. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and top that off. And that pretty much sums up how to change the oil in your 2012 Honda Civic. This has been Repairs and Reviews. Thanks for watching.